EA Sports College Football 25 Dynasty Mode allegedly going to be the flagship mode for this new game. EA will pay the athletes to be in the game. This is great news and in anticipation for the new game, I'm bringing you all a top 10 list for teams that you will need to go and rebuild in EA College Football 25. The Kennesaw State Owls, coded in the black and gold out of Kennesaw, Georgia, led by Scrappy the Owl. Brian Bohannon led the squad to three big South Conference championship titles in 2017, 2018, and 2021. That leads us to 2024. Kennesaw State is making the move to Conference USA for their first season a part of the FBS. College Football News is already counting them out with early predictions having them at two in 10 on the season. Nonetheless, it's an exciting time to be an Owl fan as they're coming into the conference with their highest ranked recruiting class. Per 24-7 sports, they've inked eight three-star prospects, the most in their program. And then at the time of recording this, they have two notable transfers. Christian Moss, a receiver from Virginia Tech, is coming back home to Kennesaw. And then we have Donovan Westmoreland, a four-star linebacker transferring from the University of South Carolina. He is the highest ranked recruit in Kennesaw State history. This is a great rebuild because they have some of the initial pieces coming together, but it's it's going to be a challenging road ahead, and that's where you come in. The next program on my list is the Nebraska Cornhuskers. They're on the list for a couple of reasons. One, they've had eight straight losing seasons. Nebraska was second worst in the Big Ten in passing yards with only 135 passing yards per game last season. Nebraska has been struggling from a few different things. Coaching changes, recruiting challenges, and then just inconsistent performance year in and year out. I'm not as close to the Nebraska football scene, but I have exclusive intel from family that is tied to Nebraska, and they seem to think that Nebraska struggles from always blaming the quarterback. One of those guys being Adrian Martinez, who did transfer, but they do have a quarterback in the wings that could be the future, and that is Dylan Riola, a five-star quarterback who flipped from his longtime commit to Georgia to attend his father's alma mater at Nebraska. Nebraska's also landed a couple other notable transfers, including Dante Dowdell and Jamal Banks, a receiver and running back that could have an immediate impact. Nebraska ranks 22nd in the transfer portal, 23rd ranked in bringing in 2024 football commits. So what does that mean for you in dynasty mode? Well, you have a unique opportunity to take this program that's on the cusp of rebuilding and usher them into this new era of greatness that they once were. You already know this list ain't complete without talking about Colorado in prime time. The buffs were struggling for a few years until prime time came in and well, they still struggled in the first year four and eight. Regardless, in 2023, the Buffs were red hot in the first three weeks, going 3-0. Shadur Sanders set a school passing record in week one against the TCU Horn Frogs. Now, something I want to know, at the end of the 2023 season, the Buffs had a very small margin of defeat, meaning they were very close to pulling out these games. The struggles of yesteryear have been addressed, and CU has brought in the second best transfer portal class in 2024. They're bringing in a host of receivers, defensive linemen, offensive linemen, not to mention they're bringing in a youth movement that ranks 22nd right now in 2024, led by Jordan Seaton, the number one offensive lineman in all of the nation. This team's going to look different next year in dynasty mode. Maybe you can take control as prime and Shadur and take them to a bowl game. All have been crushing it lately and because of the support, I'm giving away two copies of EA College Football. The Liberty Flames from Lynchburg, Virginia. This will be the first time that they're in an EA college football video game. In July of 2017, the Flames announced that they would be leaving the FCS for the FBS. They became a full FBS member with bull eligibility in 2019. And in 2020, the Liberty Flames entered the AP Top 25 pool for the first time. Now in Conference USA, the Liberty Flames last year went 13-1 with a perfect 13-0 regular season before, unfortunately for Liberty fans, getting handled in the Fiesta Bowl by Oregon. With the number one recruiting class in Conference USA, they're still a bit far down in the national ranks. So maybe you have what it takes to get the Flames over the hump and to become a year-in, year-out competing force. Sam Houston Bearcats, it's time to eat them up. Also making their first appearance in an EA college football video game, Starting off their program in 1912, Sam Houston's actually gone throughout the years and held up two national championships at the subdivision level. In 2020, they won a Division I FCS national championship, and the very next year, they announced that they're going to be leaving and heading to the FBS. Beginning in 2023, they kicked off their first season in Conference USA play. Starting off their inaugural season in the FBS, they went 3-9. and This year, they kick off their season against UCF and then finish the season against Liberty. 
Looking at the transfer portal, Fernando Garza the third, a tight end from Texas A&M, primarily played on special teams, should get a predominant role for Sam Houston. Looking at the rest of the recruits, they had the 127th recruiting class. So as you can see, there's a real need for someone to just jump in and take this school to the next level. I've been thinking about Jacksonville State not only because they're going to be in the video game for the first time, but they also had a crazy bowl game last year. Ranked 165th in recruiting, they only had one three-star commit to them last year. This year, they've moved up 40 or so spots. Momentum is on their side. Will you be the reason they kick it into a higher gear? Quick notes on incoming transfers. Tyler Huff will transfer from Furman. He earned 2023 Southern Conference Offensive Player of the Year. Quarterback from UConn, Zion Turner, is also transferring. What's this list without the worst team in college football from last season? Kent State Golden Flashes were 1-11, 0-8 in conference play. This team has had so much movement going on. They lost coach Sean Lewis to Colorado staff after last season. They lost a host of players to the transfer portal with the whole starting offense not there anymore. With all the outgoing, there were a few incoming that are worth noting, including quarterbacks from Kansas State and Purdue and a host of other players across both sides of the ball. Why should you rebuild this team? Well, for starters, they ranked a dead last in scoring offense last year, averaging only 12 and a half points per game. They were the 12th most sacked team in the nation, the fifth worst on third down, third worst in total offense yards per game. Their defense allowed 33 points per game, 114th in the nation. This team is one of the youngest and inexperienced teams in the nation. I may be a smidge biased on this next one because I am an alum. But the Broncos are an exciting team right now, and who doesn't love playing on the blue in NCAA football? Broncos went 8-6 and six last year, finished first in the Mountain West, but they sputtered out the gate starting 3-4 and four on the season. They had a host of players leave for the transfer portal, including Taylor Green, the starting quarterback for most of the games. Eric McAllister, our leading receiver through most of the year. Head coach Andy Avalos was canned. We brought Spencer Danielson in, and he helped our team get back right mustering enough to get us to the Mountain West Championship game and beating UNLV there. What excites me most is that Ashton Genty, one of the best running backs in all the nation, really underrated by a lot of media, totaled over 1,800 yards from scrimmage, 164.9 all-purpose yards per game. That ranks him second nationally in both categories. The new era on the blue will also be led by Malachi Nelson, unanimous five-star prospect, ranked number one per ESPN last year. Bringing in a couple transfer receivers like Cam Camper. Fun fact, if you didn't know, now you know, Ken Griffey Jr.'s son is also transferring to Boise State. It's your turn to get on the blue field and make things right. For a little while, it was looking bleak for these guys as the Duke Blue Devils were one of the most impacted teams in the portal. Riley Leonard left for Notre Dame and a lot of the supporting cast bailed. They still pulled out a close win against Troy in the Birmingham Bowl, but this team will need some rebuilding this upcoming season. And you can start your rebuild looking no further than transfer Malik Murphy from Texas. This is a big dude at 6 foot 5, 238 pounds, big arm, a lot of upside. When Quint Ewers got hurt last year for Texas, Malik Murphy stepped in and still got two wins. He's young, he's a redshirt freshman, he's got a lot of raw potential with three years of remaining eligibility, and so that makes him extremely intriguing to build around here in this Duke Blue Devils dynasty mode. Also important to note, Mike Elmo is gone, and Manny Diaz is stepping in as first-year head coach. The defensive coordinator for Penn State gets his first crack with the Duke Blue Devils. Outside of some solid transfers, Duke has a rather average 2024 commit class with only three stars across the board. It's a new look ACC in 2024, and it's a great time to choose Duke as your school to rebuild. Texas A&M Aggies football. It's been a little disappointing for these guys of late. In 2022, only five wins, seven wins in 2023. Additionally, with the hire, Colin Klein, the new offensive coordinator for the Aggies, was a great find from Kansas State. Texas A&M is a big-time program with a lot of dollars, but they're facing a similar problem that Duke is facing, and there's just a lot of movement in the portal. Two of the top four 2024 transfer portal players are leaving College Station and heading to other schools, Walter Nolan and Evan Stewart, the big ones. But despite all that, they still have the 17th best recruiting class in the nation as of today. It's only good enough to be ninth in the SEC as it's always tougher competition out there. 
One of the prospects that AM officially signed the other day was Terry Bussey, who could just be the next Travis Hunter in college football. All in all, it's a bit uncertain the path forward for AM, and that's why it's a great choice for your next dynasty rebuild. Let's speed run a few more honorable mentions. Arizona State has been struggling of late, and in fact, Jaden Daniels, Heisman winner for LSU, was a Sun Devil that transferred out of there. That just shows this program is in disarray, and they're having a hard time keeping players motivated. There's a bright young court at the University of Arizona, leading into a big Alamo Bowl victory, but the school president, Robert Robbins, disclosed that there is a $240 million financial shortage. You need to jump in and take the school to a natty so they can get some bread. Akron, enough said. Old Miss has a really impressive list of incoming transfers, so this team could be dangerous and fun to play as. Oregon State, one of the last two survivors of the dysfunctional Pac-12. They're going to be facing many new Mountain West opponents in this next season. And with a robust transfer portal coming in with 19 new players, this could be a fun one to try out. James Madison went 11-2 last year. What a run. But they lost their head coach to Indiana before the bowl game even begun. However, they're bringing in Dylan Morris, quarterback from Washington. That's spelled Penix Jr. here and there. Ohio State led by transfer quarterback from Kansas State, Will Howard. Additionally, a bunch of Alabama transfers when Nick Saban left came to Ohio State. Ohio State's going to be Ohio State. And then last, just for giggles, go Cats. You guys got to build them and take them to a natty, right? Home. Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm coming. 